Honorable, um, Honorable President, distinguished delegates, and fellow observers, um, my thanks for the opportunity to speak tonight. Um, thanks also to Director General Francis Gurry and his staff um, for their hard work and for the transparency of these proceedings. This is both an historic and an important treaty. Through these exceptions and limitations, we recognize the human rights of blind people. These exceptions and limitations will change the lives of millions of blind people and visually impaired and print disabled people like myself. It gives us the tools with which we can end the book famine. However, this treaty is only a means to an end, and the end that we're seeking is a world in which every single book that is available to people with normal sight is also available to people with visual impairments. And we still need your help to make that happen. In the interest of all blind people, I call on countries to sign and ratify this treaty as a matter of absolute urgency. I call on you to ask the World Blind Union and your local blind groups for assistance when you amend your national laws to utilize these exceptions and limitations. Honorable President, these two weeks of negotiations have been tense and difficult. I want to express my deepest respect and gratitude to those negotiators who have stood firm on behalf of blind people and who have refused to be swayed, who have refused to give way under tremendous pressure. I also want to thank the great, the World, sorry, I also want to thank the World Blind Union for the excellent work that they have done. I want to remind delegates that a mere five, six years ago, this treaty was little more than an idea there was nothing inevitable about this treaty coming about. It didn't fall from the sky. It required a group of individuals, courageous individuals, to recognize the problem and to dedicate years of their lives to get us to where we are now. And finally, I want to thank James Love and his colleagues at Knowledge Ecology International Without their vision and activism, we would not be here. Thank you very much.